morning folks, <laughs> welcome back to another wildlife photography film. Right, what are we up to today? Well, summertime, down by the river, there's only really one subject isn't there? Well, there's more than that but you know what I mean, yeah kingfishers, we're after, uh, we're after kingfishers. So, now this, this little spot of mine, uh, well it's not mine, it's uh, it's a public river, we've got a public footpath right next to us, so I don't know how we're going to go on with that, but we'll see. I just wanted to show you how I approach getting shots of kingfishers, just bog basic stuff. We're not doing any diving shots, we're, you know, we're not doing out fancy like that, flight shots. thing is with kingfishers, you can either just do it on the hoof, if you will, walking up and down the river, hoping you're going to get a shot that's difficult you're really lucky if you can get a shot you know fair enough but you need to be consistent really so the other way is to search up and down the river put the time in put the field work in um, find somewhere where it hunts regularly find a perch set a hide up bang you cracked it you'll get some belting shots <clears throat> now this way the one the one that we're going to do today I wanted to put my own perch up because what you can do then, you can choose the background depending on where you put the perch. Um, you can you can suss that depth of field out. You know you're gonna you're gonna get the image that you want. You can kind of create it that little bit of uh, habitat engineering. So I've just I've had my eye on this one for a bit. I brought this down with me. Whether it's gonna work or not, I don't know. But it's uh, you know what I'm like with my perches. I see a nice perch. I keep my eye on it. Remember it. So that's gonna be. That is going to be a good kingfisher perch, I'm sure. It's got a nice bit of moss on it. It's it's just a bit of dead fall hawthorn, I think. So we're gonna I'm going to show you how I set that up. Um, I'm in a bit of a quandary this morning. I've, I've two positions I can shoot at. I've already got a perch out that I put down last week just to uh, just to see if they were coming down and using this place for fishing and they have been going on that perch so what I'm going to do I'm going to take that one down even though they're using it which seems a bit daft but I want to just try it from scratch really just to show you how I, how I do it from scratch so we're going to set that up now we're going to be using um, I haven't used it yet in this format but we're going to be using the Lagopus Tragopan Lagopus hide nice small one person hide um, a really important thing with kingfishers get your hide and your camera set up first don't be setting the perch up and then messing around setting your, your hide up and your camera because that can take a while reason being uh, a couple of weeks ago I was just shooting 30 yards further up the river and <laughs> I didn't listen to my own rules it, it worked out alright in the end but uh, I was walking down here saw this lovely mossy log I thought, right, that'll be nice, I can just put it in a shallow bit of water. Went down to the spot, put it in the water, and then I literally turned around, I was shooting, oh, I bet it was less than, I bet it was less than 30 foot away, and I was messing around, put my tripod down, just got the camera onto the tripod, and the kingfisher came down. I couldn't believe it, the, the actual branch, uh, the log hadn't been in the water for a minute. Kingfisher came down, I blasted 20 shots off maybe and, and it went and I stayed there for three hours and it never came back so whether it didn't like that perch or not but I nearly missed the shots now you know if I'd have been messing around putting a hide up as it was I was just sat down on the mat and I had my, my ghillie jacket on and I got some some really nice shots I'll, I'll put probably the best one on now um, but yeah get your camera set up first get your, your hide set up and uh, you're ready to go then as soon as you've got your perch sorted back into the hide and you're ready to go that kingfisher could come at any minute so let's get the uh, let's get this perch set up and uh, yeah so we can get some images
on today so as you can see I've got the Lagerpuss set up so it's not the full hide now the Lagerpuss uh, I've not done a full review on it yet I've only used it a couple of times but the two times I have used it it's been absolutely superb and it's great for this kind of scenario relatively small area I can't put my big two-man hide up and I just wanted kind of a quick hit really so I'm using it in conjunction with the ghillie blanket and also I've got the ghillie legs on me on my tripod and I've also got the uh, the big zoom lens ghillie cover which as you can see I'm kind of fully hidden and it just gives me I don't know it's, it tends to give you a little bit more peripheral vision when you use it in conjunction with something like that and it's easier to get in and out of so that's the setup as you can see when I when I was getting set up I got a little bit of sand in the in the tripod head it's important to bring with you um, you know your maintenance kit so I've got that little bag I've got a blower a rocket blower so I blew some of the sand out and have a little brush just to get stuff out like that um, I know it looks like I'm bringing a lot of gear but everything I bring is essential there's nothing that I bring that that isn't going to get used or potentially used you know so that's the that's the hide set up we're good to go now what we're going to do now is get this perch set up and uh, yeah fingers crossed now kingfisher will come down silky saw as well really important if you that's another thing as well um, this particular this particular setup today I already had me my perch and I brought it down with me ordinarily if I wasn't filming I'd probably find my perch I'd bring it down the day before not set it up but I'd leave it at the location it's just it's less to carry you know what I mean it's a big chunk of timber is that so for those you know for, for the purpose of this film I've, I've dragged it down all right um, yeah bring yourself a saw folding saw these are these are superb these these silkies they're absolutely brilliant uh, don't be cutting live trees down you know deadfalls fine um, deadfall trees always look better anyway because they you know they tend to have that old patina about them and they've, they've got moss on them and, and what have you the the actual the perch can be I think it's a it's an integral part of the shot because I see I see kingfisher shots and the, the, the birds is perfect, the dead sharp and I don't know sometimes the perch lets it down so it's quite an important aspect of the of the shot, you know, it can it can affect the composition of the shot, you know, which way the bird's facing, etc. etc. So just something to think about. The nicer the nicer the perch I think, the nicer the shot. So um, right, let's get this set up. Here we go, that's the, uh, that's the perch I brought with me. It's a bit of a cocheer to be honest, but I'm thinking that I'll probably try and get it stood up that way. We've got a decent height from the, from the top of the perch down to the water. You don't want to be too close because um, you need, you know, they, they kind of need that height. Uh, three to four foot is ideal. This is a little bit shorter, so we'll, just, we'll see what happens. Of, uh, couple of dead branches there just to act as a bit of a tripod for extra support and a little bit of cordage just to lash it onto. Just had to beat a retreat because it started raining. I weren't expecting that. Right, let's uh, let's get in this hide and see if we get any shots.
we're doing folks let's adjust that that's a bit better a bit bright right welcome back to day two of this film right yesterday didn't go 100% according to plan which invariably wildlife photography doesn't always go to plan um, we put that that perch out as I got back into the hide I don't know there was something wrong something something wasn't quite right whether I had me my concealment wrong I just got the camera set up and again like I said with that other one Kingfisher landed straight on it with a fish in its mouth landed straight on the perch and I moved just slightly to, to get to me my shutter release and it went it just spooked it so I don't think my concealment was right so we, we waited I, I had probably another four hours nothing came so plenty of action up and down the river kingfishers up and down they weren't coming onto that perch so I sacked it off uh, I've come back this morning I've taken that perch away and there's another couple of perches these are just natural ones and I've spotted them loads of times they're not the nicest looking but I'm not bothered I just want some I want some footage and I want some still pictures so what I've done I've taken that other perch away because that gives them another option yeah one thing don't ever take away natural perches that the kingfishers are hunting off never ever take them away and replace them with your own all right because they if you've seen them on there they're on there for a reason it's a good hunting spot they you know it's a resting spot whatever leave them in situ and that's what these two are they've been there for yonks I've, the last couple of years i've been coming down here i've always seen kingfishers on them so we're gonna have a do here i've got the lagopus again with the uh, the gilly blanket over it also i was thinking they might have seen my legs come out the bottom of the hide i don't know so we've got the um, the understory blanket as well so that's going to go over the top of me and come on we'll have a look i'll show you how far away we are so try not to fall that river <clears throat> So that's our hide set up there, and if I spin you around, there you go. So there we go. We've got one perch there, one there, and one that's lower. So this is just a complete dead tree that's that's in the water. Like I said, like I said, it's been there. It's been there ages that, and they always they always land on that. Not the nicest looking, like I said, but I'm not bothered about that. It's just an exercise in in showing you, you know, how to get kingfisher shots. So the beauty of this little spot here is we're on a little little leg, if you will, down the side of the the river, and we've got all this Himalayan balsam. That's the only thing it's good for. Oh, and the bees like it. <laughs> But it's good cover, it's fantastic cover for when, you, when you're photographing down the side of the river. So, as I said, we've got the, um, we've got the, the understory blanket, so that's going to be, you know, covering me, me legs up. And ghillie blanket over the top of the lagopus, and I've also got me, uh, me ghillie lens cover. So, concealment wise, it's absolutely superb. It's, it's really, really effective. So, I'm going to get in there now. I'm going to get me uh, get me lucky gloves on, my lucky gloves. Um, I'm going to get my face veil on. I want to keep as much of me covered up as I can, uh, so that there's no chance of them spotting me. That's that's it. I don't want to mess this one up. So we'll get in now, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get some pictures. <laughs> sorted everything's covered up now leaving nothing to chance and um, 
the more I use this this Lagerpuss hide, the more I like it. It it's really comfy. The the seat is I don't know it's, it's just a, a comfy seat. It's a nice height, and also the uh, I'm going to do a proper review on it. But yeah, take my word for it. It's uh, it's a good hide, especially used in conjunction with this ghillie blanket. I've got loads of uh, you know peripheral vision, so all being well. There we go, we're focused. <laughs> all being well, we'll get some kingfisher shots. Right, we're bedding in, we're going in. See you in a bit.
Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic. Oh, that was amazing. One of them landed and I was... They're quite long branches of those and I was that captivated by watching, I think it was a young one and um, didn't realise there was another one on the end. So eventually the pair of them, one of them was calling so I assume that was the young one calling to the parents and then they both came together and it was as if it was as if the parent didn't want to know. I don't know why it came over actually but it was backing off and backing off and and I got some fantastic interaction between them. I got some nice stills as well. Uh, oh, fantastic. And then there was one flew off onto another perch and it was there was three or four of them were just whizzing round and the, the one on the on the little perch coming out of the water that kept ducking down like it was you know the other ones were were doing a flyby on it. Oh it was fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. But Anyone that questions the um, the OM1 on the image quality, I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. It's, and especially with the the teleconverter as well. You know, I'm, I'm a bit dubious sometimes of flicking it over onto that, you know, to get a thousand millimetre, but I, I just can't see any difference in, in image quality when you, you know, get it to the full full focal length. So effectively, it's a thousand millimetre and it's it's absolutely pin sharp the, the fantastic images of those well chuffed with them so that's it really that is the uh, that's the simple way of photographing kingfishers is to already use the existing perch but i just wanted to show you you know how i, how I set up you've seen it before in other other films but um it's all about perseverance as well you've got to stick at it because yesterday it was a bit of a write-off. Um, I didn't get any any usable pictures, but it's a lesson for anyone who's starting off in wildlife photography. You're going to get a lot of days where you're disappointed. I mean, just being out, it's it's, it's enough, in it. I've always said this: if you get any images, it's a bonus. You know, don't go out expecting to get pictures because yesterday, I'd have, I don't know, I'd have probably put my mortgage on it that I got some pictures on that um, on that nice log, but I didn't. And I persevered, come back this morning, you know, up early, lugged all that gear down again. And uh, I've been rewarded with some fantastic pictures. I'm, I'm well suited. So, yeah, we're going to pack up now. Off to Flicks tonight to see Top Gun. So, reliving my youth. I saw the original one when I were, uh, oh, I don't know, 86, I was 17. So, yeah, well, <laughs> I'm well looking forward to it. So that's it for this one we'll see you on the next one thanks very much for watching thanks for all the support and the channel yeah the subs are flying up so yeah everything's good so thanks very much and we'll see you on the next one